So you're moving on. You're, you're done with the nine conversations in leadership and you're talking to yourself and your, and your cell group about what you're going to do next. Of course, if you're serious about the leadership journey, you know that this was just another step in what might be a thousand step journey, unless this is step a thousand. And in that case, you've still got another thousand to go. You know that you've got to set vision. You know that you've got to build community. You know that you've got to align. You've got to develop teams. You've got to develop individuals. You've got to take care of your energy and you've got to grow yourself. You've got to take self-leadership as a serious responsibility. My last thought for you is that I think that maybe leadership should be like one of those emergency buttons on the wall where they've got a piece of glass over the front and there's a key uh, behind the glass or a button behind the glass and it says break in case of emergency. You know, we don't want to be leading all the time. It's just nothing Nothing more tiring than, than trying to be the leader. And frankly, for the people around us, it's probably hell of a tiring for them when we're all sitting around trying to set direction and build community. And we just don't want to be the cheerleader, you know, that pom-pom gal. So take it easy on yourselves. Pick your leadership moments really, really carefully. Listen for when leadership is needed. Look for when leadership is needed. And then don't shy away from that moment and stand up in that moment and, and get on with it. So don't stop growing, but don't switch this thing on unless it's needed. Good luck. <laughs>